and welcome. In this video, I will talk about on quality management process in procurement and sourcing or you can say supply chain management life cycle. Our focus will be on this video will be on destructive versus non-destructive testing. To proceed with that, I would like to talk about what is quality management and what is the importance of quality management in procurement and sourcing life cycle. So I have articulated, I have made a decision tree or a flow chart how this quality control works in real world. This can be, you know, this can vary business to business. However, in a hypothetical you know, layman language, this is what the quality looks like. So suppose as an example, uh, we have inbound logistics or, or say suppose we have got uh, some product or some raw material organization got and they have done the good receipt. However, before using it or before selling it, you know, uh, to adding in inventory, they they have a set of requirement or they have a set of set of quality standard they have to meet it. So for that, quality control comes into the picture. So what happens when the once the good receipt is done, then the quality, you know, quality order or you can say quality process comes to the picture, and we impose the inventory block for the for those good receipt. That means even if we have received the goods or material or product those will not be available in production or sell what they will do they will go with the quality control process and if that is quality check is passed then it will be ready to sell sell or production and if it is fail then either that will be a scrap in the warehouse itself or it will be a vendor return so this is the you know in layman language or in high, you know holistic view this is the quality process looks like so now as i mentioned our focus will be on destructive testing or destructive quality control in this video so i will talk about what is destructive testing so destructive testing is like uh, as i mentioned that after good received in our organization then organization can set or they have set of you know, quality sampling percentage that 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 much percentage will be taken out from the inventory whatever have received they have received and that will go through the quality process however as this is a destructive test whether it is pass or fail during the testing that product or raw material will not be or the organization will not be able to reuse it because the quality process will be like the failure analysis or or you know uh, the resistance analysis on those product so as a result those will be destroyed during the quality test so this is in one word destructive test is a portion of the goods or quant some quantity of the good received will be taken out and it will be quality checked it is fast or fail the result will be like those will not be added into the inventory back if it is passed it will also be destroyed if it is fail then also it will be destroyed that means let's let's assume let's let's have an example that in good i mean in grn or uh, good receive we organization have received 100 quantities of item so they have set up uh, standard that 5% of that shipment will be taken out and it, it will be it will be sent to quality process and that will be destructive test and that will be destroyed and then the 95 from 100 it will be added to the inventory and then it will be used for production or sell so that is all about the destructive quality testing where the quality is done but the quality parts the quality sample will not be reused rather it will be destroyed and i will show you what is the inventory impact what is the financial impact on destructive testing all you will see in this video the first thing in microsoft dynamics 65 finance and operations we need to do is we need to go to inventory management and then inventory where inventory and warehouse management parameters and then here in the parameters in the quality management tab we need to enable the use quality management that's it once you have enabled the quality management parameter to yes then we need to do couple of setups uh, we will go through these setups under the quality control in inventory management 
form itself so first we will start with test and test instruments test is what to test something organization is buying something or procuring something or raw material assume a car or car parts that has to be tested but what test need to be performed like a resistance level like a battery level or anything which has to be tested on that raw material or on the car that we need to create here so like i mentioned i have created a resistance level as an example i will create another like parts call battery level battery level okay and i will click here and then in the type option i will have three options fraction integer and option options means i will have a option when i performing this quality check then i will have i will have to select the options like whether it is okay whether it is fail or pass that is an option fraction fraction and integer is like i will have a set of bar like from 5 to 10 i will decide somewhere and then i will add on that quality i will add the number 5 or fraction 0.5 6 7 so there will be no option but i will add the number so that is all about this type so i will select say suppose option and here is test instrument so what is test instrument to perform this test on that raw material i need a test instrument by which i will you know do the quality check like to check the battery level i can have a test uh, you know test instrument call uh, a machine maybe a battery machine or something like that so to to create this test instrument i can go to this quality control and then test instrument i have already created a test instrument here as a scale for resistance level here i can click on you know battery machine okay and then i will select maybe an unit ea okay and then i will go to test and i will attach this test instrument to this test like battery machine so what we have done we have created a test what we need to test and by which we need to test we have added into the test okay likewise i have already created a resistance level as a test and on that i have i have added the test instrument called scale by scale i will do this resistance level i will quality check i will qc this resistance level so this is one part we will now go to the quality control form and we will see the third option called test variables test variables is what see now we have test what to test by which we will do the test however what is the outcome what is the variable of the outcome whether it is a pass or it a fail whatever we need to create it here so it's all configuration nothing is coded so you can create multiple variables on that quality so i have created a level so when i'm performing a test that will be a variable and under that variable i will have two outcomes or multiple outcomes one outcome is fail one outcome is pass so i will use it or, or use this one only but i will also show you how to do that see qc check qc check and then i will go to this outcome and here i can create multiple outcomes it's not it's there there is no limitation say pass pass means here i will have option pass or fail here i will have fail i can have multiple outcomes like not okay here i will have i will select i will select fail i can select multiple like anything uh, too high okay fail so i will have these options when i'm doing the quality check so when, once it is done i'm just going back okay so here in the i have selected level and here in this level i will have option called pass or fail so it is all configuration okay once it is done uh, what we have done as of now we have created we have created tests we have created test variables we have created test instruments so so now before going to the test group 
I will talk about something called item sampling. This item sampling is what? Say, I am procuring a shipment and shipment is containing 100 batteries or 100 cars or 100 parts. So, some of the organization can have a benchmark or a standard <coughs> that they will not do the quality check for all the items which is coming. It's, it's a very lengthy process, right? What they will do? They will do some item sampling say maybe a 5% item sampling they will do or a fixed quantity of the item they will do or they can do 100%. So it's called a item sampling. This concept, is, this concept is called item sampling. Whatever the shipment is coming, I can decide what percent, what percent or what quantity I need to test on that or uh, for that shipment. So for that, we can create item sampling call, say suppose I will test 6 or maybe 1%, okay? I've created 5% since I will use that just for you I will creating it so you know sampling scope is order shipment or load I can select order or shipment or load I will select maybe order okay and here I have option called percent fixed quantity and full license plate okay so here I will use a percent which is one and here after that that means uh, see when the shipment is coming the water is coming uh, to the warehouse that only one percent of that shipment will be quality tested system will automatically pick up that and after that we have option called full full box blocking per updated quantity this is very important okay suppose even we are quality checking only one percent of that shipment or order so suppose assume 100 quantity is coming on that shipment so 1% will be called tested but still assume that our organization uh, have a, a standard that unless the 1% of the ship shipment is quality checked a quality check is completed the full quantity of the shipment will be blocked for production or for sell so this is the concept of full blocking that means 100 is coming 1% which is mean 1 is in quality checking however unless the 1% is quality check the total 100 will be blocked for I mean as in inventory blocking I have option called par updated quantity so par updated quantity is the you know exactly opposite which is say suppose I am having the 1% quality check of that shipment and then only one percent whatever the percentage is going to quality checked only that percent will be you know uh, inventory blocked that means 100 is 100 quantities coming one is in quality check only that one will be blocked for production and sell this too i wanted to show okay so now I have created it I will click maybe per updated quantity that means one person will only be blocked and I mean rest of the quantity will still be usable so that is all about the item sampling now we will see what is test groups so here test group means say suppose to check up material or a item okay to complete the quality check, it's not only battery level, it's not only resistance level. There, are, there can be multiple factors, there can be multiple tests under that group of that item, right? To, call, to check one material, we need to have, or we can have one also, but we can have multiples to complete the quality of that product. So for that, these test groups come into the picture. So here, I have created a group called resistance maybe I can create another group to show you that say QC car okay QC car here acceptance quality level acceptance quality level means say suppose you have under this group you have 10 tests okay 10 different type of tests and as per the standards that if you know 90 percent is also passed then also we will our company will call it a test pass so that is the acceptance quality level so i will keep it as 100 i have kept this as 60 for other resistance other test group 
here item sampling so we, we know that what is item sampling we will select this one percent okay and here like the main agenda of this uh, video is that destructive testing and non-destructive testing so destructive testing means like i mentioned earlier that if we select this to yes then my item sampling is one percent so suppose i am getting a uh, i am importing something uh, from a company which is 100 quantity they are delivering and one percent will be item sampling that means one percent will be tested and it will be destroyed that means if we consider 100 as an item quantity then one will be tested and it will be destroyed 99 will be back to inventory so if i don't make it then what will happen one person will be quality tested if it is passed then only it will go back to the inventory and we can use it but for destructive it will not go back okay this is calling this is called destructive testing marker and here we will we can add multiple tests test means we have created already we have already created test like battery level i can give it a sequence like what sequence it will be tested okay so in battery level i can i have i have selected the battery level i can select the effective and expired expiry date and in general you will notice that you know action on failure like if we go to test okay uh, and then in this uh, general it is called certification of analysis it is not required for now it is something called for the report okay it is acceptance quality level i can decrease or make keep it 100 and then uh, i can select variable which is say suppose i have created two variables like i can select quality check and i can select default outcome default outcome means say suppose when the quality so quality order will be created automatically by the system the default outcome when whenever the quality order is created it will be always fail so that the quality person you know uh, go back and check the quality so it is for just avoiding that no one miss the quality to to happen so it is that is the reason it is called default outcome and test instrument automatically coming because we have selected under the test okay so here i have selected this again i will select another test okay call resistance level and here i will select two okay and similarly the same thing we will do here i will select the variable by qc check default outcome fail okay so that is done and then after that so i can add multiple tests under one group so this one I have created for non-destructive test because I have not enabled it but this one I have selected as a destructive test so we will see one by one two scenarios in resistance level also I will add another okay another test which is I will select this to battery level general test here I will select the variable call level and then fail default outcome. So I have, I have selected this test group, these two test groups. Okay. So now I have two test group. One it will be like non-destructive and one other it will be destructive test. Okay. <clears throat> but for both of them, the item sample quality is one percent. So we will see. So this is all about the test group. So what is test group in one one and in, in short that I have or we have multiple tests to be done on one product so for that we will create a group and under that group we will add the test and I, I can have a destructive or non-destructive okay so that's it about the test group we will move forward and we will go to the very important part is quality association so what is quality associations see quality association is basically uh, to help to generate automatic quality order with specific combinations as of now whatever we have done from test test instrument variable test groups item sampling whatever we have done that will come into the quality association group 
and system will automatically create the quality order by the combination we have we create in this quality associations so i will show you that um, first i will create two uh, one quality association for purchase and here i will select say suppose item so here the concept is in item code you can select table group and all all means everything every item whenever the item is selected the the quality order will be created by this combination so i will select table but i will also talk about group so this group is not not basically item group it's a quality group and under that quality group you can add multiple items it's basically you can have your own quality group of items and you can have it here okay so i will show you table table means only one item i will select say 1104 and in this 1104 i don't have any inventory right now so it will be easy for you to understand so i can have multiple side or particular side from uh, to which side it is coming and that by that side the combination will work i will keep it blank so that means whatever whatever the site is selected in the purchase order the quality will work by this combination i can have account code like table group and all same combination the similar combination like i mentioned in item code so i will select all so irrespective of any vendor if the product is coming the quality will quarter will be created okay and this event type event type is mean in which event the quality order will be created say i can have receipt list i can have registration i can have product list so i will select product receipt that means whenever the product receipt product receipt event is done executed then i can define whether it is before product receipt or after product receipt the system will create the quality order so i will select after so what will happen whenever i create the product receipt in the system system will automatically create the quality order okay show info means that uh, the quality order will be created so if you hover on this it will show you the info okay and then event blocking event blocking is very interesting that uh, say suppose you want to block an event that unless the quality order is completed or quality check is completed that event will be blocked for our case product receipt so we have created a product receipt but unless we complete the quality check the system will not allow do the invoicing so i will keep invoice so it will stop so we have to complete the quality then only invoice will be allowed and here important part is test group so as of now we understood what is test group so i will select the test group and automatically these fields will be filled up so in here the test group is qc <coughs> car so here it is destructive non-destructive testing and item sampling is one percent okay <coughs> i'm sorry and the acceptance quality level is 100 so what we have done we have created a combination that whenever this item is procured after you know gr and process product receipt process quality order will automatically create will automatically be created and unless the quality is completed the event for invoicing will be blocked and this will be our group okay item sampling is one person so when that means automatically one person will be blocked uh, by the system i will create another group for another item to show the destructive testing as well so similarly i will select another item called 1109 i can select say similar item with different combination but i will not for better understanding of this so product receipt similar i will select after i will block this event and i will select another test group called resistance this is destructive testing so uh, if you have forgot that what is destructive testing for this so one person sample sample will be destroyed it will not come back to inventory after even the quality check pass or fill doesn't matter so i have created quality association for two items you can create your own combination of items or own combination of groups everything you can do so that's all about the quality associations so this is the last part of the basic configuration so we will, after this we will see how this quality will work in the system so now i'm in the purchase order page i will create purchase orders one by one for two different scenarios i will select maybe delhi as a site and cp as a warehouse and then I will select 1104 which is non-destructive testing where the inventory will be blocked but will be released after quality. So here I have selected 100 quantity. Okay. So my expectation will be 
uh, when I will receive the product automatically quality water will be created but one person will be inventory blocked and upon quality check that will be released so it is done confirm I will release I will generate the product receipts I suppose one two okay and then okay let's wait and now it is done if I go see here okay and then I will go to quality orders page so quality orders can be visible from the purchase order under receive and here the quality order so now you see the automatically quality orders are created based on the combination and as you mentioned that it is failed because default we have kept it as failed so now if you see that one quantity as a quality order have been created because the item sampling was only for one person okay so now if I before completing the quality and before going to the quality if I go to the item and if I see the on an inventory for this item warehouse so we will notice one thing so if I go to on an inventory okay and then you will notice physical inventory is 100 which is we have ordered we have received but available is 99 available physical the reason is one is blocked for the quality okay you remember when the quality we have added as item sampling as per quantity a part updated quantity so that means only the quality sampling percentage will be blocked if I go to the transactions now you will see this one as a you know inventory blocking as a reference has been created okay so now this is one thing and now what we will do we will try to invoice this because in the uh, setup we have added as a setup like if we don't complete the quality invoice won't be allowed so if I click on invoice let's see what is the error it gives so this one and if I try to post it my expectation is that it will not allow to complete the invoicing okay see the error is coming the update has been blocked because the item is in inspection or because there is a conflict between a parameter set and policy quality association so which means even if we try to invoice this it will not allow because the, in the setup we have blocked the event for invoicing so what you have to do we have to complete the quality so complete the quality in the quality order page on in purchase order what we need to do we need to go say this is the quality we need to complete we need to select this line and we need to click on results and to update the result quantity is one and then from the outcome we will have the option called fail not okay pass so this is we have created at the time of setup right or when we have created the variables test variables so here we will say suppose pass it will automatically change to tick mark similarly if you see the result entered as pass so when automatically it will show as passed so similarly here also in this test also i need to click on pass so now okay cell pass if I go back now this two is ticked so why this two is coming this is because of the quality association and the test group which having this quality test under that test group okay so now the quality we have done now we will click on validate and this accept error even if there is error I will accept it and quarantine upon validation failure suppose if it is not pass or fail what we will do that there is a quarantine process we will see in a different video what is quarantine management but here we will just see what is quality so we will just click on ok so now it is taking some time processing operation validate the quality error ok it is done so operation is completed so our quality is done so now if we take a look that in the item if what is the item quantity now we have in on an inventory so if I go to this item and it is the on an inventory now we will notice the blocked is no more the available physical is 100 now if I go to these transactions you will notice that inventory blocking is no more okay so that is all about the inventory blocking and how to deal how to do the quality in short so I can invoice this one okay 
so if we try to invoice now it will allow us to invoice the reason is quality process is completed and the event blocking is removed so now if I try to post it now you see the invoice is done so this is the non-destructive testing where the quality is passed and the, the item sampling the sample quality uh, product will be returned back to inventory as an on an inventory right and now the main discussion we wanted to have this destructive testing where the inventory will not go back even if it is pass or fail so i will create the another another purchase order similarly i will follow the same process okay so destructive testing in and in under different item which is in the quality association we have selected so it is in 1109 items so i will select warehouse okay 1109 and with this item we have added a we have created a quality association so here similarly we will add 100 quantity okay and item sampling is one person so this means one person will be blocked okay. i have confirmed this similarly i will click on product receipt okay so now i will click okay the quality order will automatically be created i will go to quality orders now you see the that is same thing happened 1109 the resistance level and quality level so this is the destructive testing we are doing because quality association we have added the test group as destructive testing so i will click on result i will i will also pass this one okay this one is passed Pass. so this is the resistance level and battery level we are testing with this item but this is destructive that in real world this will be destroyed during the testing okay so now before i complete the quality for this one i want to show you what is the one and on hand inventory because we have ordered 100 items right so if i go to on an inventory for this site see it is physical inventory 100 and available physical 99 because one person one is under reserved because you know uh, uh, item sampling is one percent so here our expectation it will be removed and it will be closed so now i will validate i will click ok i will complete the quality process okay it's done now if I go back and check the item because I have completed the quality check testing and it, is, it was destructive testing it will be destroyed so I need to check the on an inventory so let's see see now you see there is no physical reserved and there is no return back so that means we have ordered 100 now it is 99 the reason is one is no no more because we have tested and that was part of destructive testing this has been destroyed and that will not be part of our inventory anymore and if we want to see the transactions okay so now you will notice this one was received but during the quality this was coming as sold sold means destroyed if we want to see these ledger transactions in the financial part of this transaction so you will notice what is the what is the financial you know entry on this so it is inventory issue it is minus and the inventory expenditure loss okay so that is the financial entry of the destructive testing uh, which is part of so we need to nullify the financial effect also from this destructive term this is all about the financial effect and if you talk about on an inventory this is no more the inventory has gone during the quality testing and that is the you know part of uh, destructive testing so yeah that's it about this destructive and non-destructive testing and I, I hope you have a great glimpse about the quality management how to configure how to you know proceed for different combination that is item sampling and acceptance test and every and it's most importantly you have understood the destructive and non-destructive testing during the quality control process uh, you know uh, with the quality control process during the purchase and procurement part of it uh, that's it for now I hope I have been able to make you understand 
about a basic quality process okay and in future i have a plan to uh, work with you know registration with the registration and with the sales part of inventory uh, quality and all of course quarant quarantine management is in uh, bucket list so yeah i will come up with those videos very soon so thanks for watching bye for now